I said, I continued to shape mine using things, you know, the little tricks that we learned before, like face extrusion and smoothing, and just got it shaped up to the body. Uh, now I want you to see what I did to make this blend in with the undergarment we created before. I basically just hid the fact that the undergarment wasn't complete underneath the belt. It's a neat, neat little trick. You can just hide the fact that stuff isn't complete underneath another object. Now I still, I just want to mention that I still plan on putting some like rivets over stuff and maybe another belt around this and put some rivets on it, but that's all just touch up work. Um, I'm sure you can you know, spend some of your own time to work with stuff like that. Now I was going to show you how to add this object to the other object so we can paint them both together, but what if I want to use this belt with something else? Well the first thing I want to do is export this belt by itself so I have a backup of it. I always think that it's a good idea anytime you've created a, you know, a new mesh or a new piece of work you should always save it by itself before you do anything else to it. So first, after I've shaped it up really good and I'm happy with it, I right click on it, convert it to an editable mesh. Well, I don't want to export the chest piece and the undergarment with it because I already have those. So a good way to hide those is go ahead and uh, right click, set unfreeze all, unhide all, that gets your bones and your body and everything's unfrozen. Now select the chest piece, hold down control, select the undergarment, right click anywhere on your screen and select hide selection. Now they're hidden. So now I can take the belt, uh, drop down, go ahead and uh, add a smooth on it because I've already smoothed it so it shouldn't affect it. Hit a 2 on there. Now uh, with smooth selected, go ahead and skin wrap it. Which you should know how to do all this. Face demorphation, weight all points, add the UMP body. Happened very fast. Convert that to a skin. Go ahead and delete the skin wrap. Select the skin drop that down and select BS Dismember Skin Modifier. Make sure everything's selected and select Skyrim Torso 1. Now it's ready to export. So I go like this. Remember we already smoothed our body before so you can always check make sure you had your body smoothed and go ahead and go to File and Export it. Now I'm already in my backup. Remember it's in UMP Custom Armor's backup. And I'm going to save this one as Belt 01. In case I make more belts I can number them. So Belt 01. I'm click Save. Don't want to weld anything, it's already been done before, so I'll click export. It exports it. Now I have my neat little belt in here, and the other parts are still in here, so I can still work. So I'm going to right click, select unhide all. Well, now with those unhidden, the only thing I want to work with is just this and this. So I want to hide the bones as well. So I'm going to select uh, the armor, the body, the belt, and the undergarment. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to select hide unselected. That'll hide the bones out of the way. And we also don't need to work with the breastplate because we already we only had it in here so we didn't con, you know verge with it with the belt. So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to go ahead and just hide that selection as well. There's no need to have it in the scene. So now I'm going to select my belt and I need to set this to be the same object as that. So in order to do this, all I have to do is go down to Editable Mesh and over here in Edit Geometry, you just select Attach and then we're going to click on the undergarment. Now they are together. They are uniformly one. Now we are going to have to reskin them, so anytime you do some of this, it's a good idea to right click and convert it to an editable mesh. Now we reset it. After we added them together, we reset it. We're going to drop this down. We're going to go ahead, select a smooth, and uh, let's smooth it, then just push it on two. That should fix anything that happens. Drop down this list. Go ahead and oh I almost forgot right click it convert it to an editable mesh because we combine two objects now we have to re unwrap the UVW because now the UVW has two combined meshes laying over each other so it wouldn't paint right so with editable mesh select we're going to drop down the modifier go ahead and select unwrap UVW now you can see there's several lines in here um, there's no way we're going to hide all these lines, so we're just going to have to deal with the way it is. So we're going to go in there, open UVW. Now you see also there's a line down the middle. Anytime you slice something or cut something, there's going to be a line where you cut it. So you just have to kind of work around that area uh, with it cut like that. Hopefully you're not planning on doing any blur in that area, and it should paint over just fine. So you see everything's overlapping each other all crazy-like. Well, that's no good. We can't have that. So I'll just click back normalize. Now it's all packed, normalized, so where they can all be painted on on the same pallete, and it's not going to you know, really destroy anything. Then click X, and uh, right-click it, and select Convert to Editable Mesh. 
Now I'll go ahead, drop down the list here, select smooth, set it to a 2, uh, drop down the list here, select skin wrap, face deformation, weight all points, add the UMP body, should take a little longer. There it goes, as soon as it's done, select convert to skin, select the skin, delete it, select the skin, or the skin wrap and delete that, and then go to BS Dismember Skin Modifier, zoom out, select all, and then go ahead and set it to Skyrim Torso 1. Now although we created these differently, uh, now they are one solid object. So now I can go ahead and select Create, and this is what we're going to paint, so we want to export it. So go to File, Export. Um, we'll just uh, save this in Backup. So go into your UMP Custom Hours into Backup, and here we can call it um, Belt and uh, undies, undies zero one. So it's a belt zero one and the undies zero one put together. So you can also type it belt zero one and undies zero one, so you know what uh, what it is. And then select save and delete these uh, weld vertices. We want to weld them again. Ooh, wow! I almost screwed up. Don't export. Right click, select unhide all, and then select the chest piece. Wow, that was almost a big mistake. And uh, go ahead and hide the. Uh, chest piece. Now we're good. Uh, and because I had those bones selected when I did the skin, I better make sure that... Yeah, okay, it did. It set it up. They're on there. Just double check in here. Okay, yeah. Now we're good to export. Now we had the chest pieces hidden, and the only thing is showing is what we just set up. Go here. Now I'm going to export file. Export. Remember I was going to save it as uh, belt01 and undies zero one and as soon as that's set up I'll go ahead and click save don't want to weld anything and select export give it a second and it's done now I can go in here and select just the belt and the well the belt and the undergarment are one now so select that right click and select hide uh, hide unselected so now we can just start painting so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, alt W to open up the full screen here and we're gonna paint it so I'll go over here and this is all up to you so tools viewport canvas move this over and I'm gonna go ahead and select paint now it says assign uh, there's no material on it so I'm gonna assign a standard material select diffuse color I'm gonna do HD uh, the background color always do black for now alright so just anytime you do this just make it jet black and select OK and uh, now it says want to save the new texture to go to my UMP texture so it's going to be UMP custom armors textures uh, and we're going to save it as a DDS so we're going to select DDS and give it a name this is going to be the um, uh, let's call it the armor bottom half you can save your texture however you want whatever name and it's the diffuse so underscore D I'm calling my armor bottom half and select uh, actually I want to name mine armor undies <laughs> armor undies underscore D and click to save now what kind we're not working with alphas yet so R A G A blue 8 and select OK this window pops up and just go ahead and select OK again now we're ready to start painting move my layers off to the side kinda of zoom in here and I'm gonna add a new layer it's hard to see here so what I like to do is after I add a new layer so it makes it easier to see is we're just gonna add a temporary dark gray to make it easier to see and I'm gonna paint that on so paint and pew, pew. now it's painted all the way around should be yep now I can start working with it I'm making mine a gray to kinda of go with the top half of the armor because I'm trying to pretend like this is still plate <laughs> alright so uh, you can go ahead and decide what you want yours to be and go ahead and paint your image you can watch me do a little bit of painting to get an idea how I do mine uh, for the rest of this video uh, so let's see. Hmm. I don't want it to be that uh, a little bit darker. Let's see, because I want it to be pretty dark when I get game. Otherwise, I'm gonna have problems. So, okay, paint this. Paint this. Now I'll start painting over that. So I'll create a new layer, and I'm gonna use my spray paint tool. So I'll go over here, masks, rough, and I'm gonna paint onto it. So it's like paint. And I want a bigger radius here. Uh, set it to like a 
maybe an 80. Fix that. Well, you know what? I don't want to get a lot of detail in here, so I'm actually not going to raise that so high. Again, you're the artist, so this is all going to be up to you. I'm just going to have to sit here and play around with mine until I get the right size that I want. Yeah, 30, and then I want to make it random. And go ahead and select color, make it a little brighter. Actually, what am I doing? I want the edges to be dark and the other way around, so hold on here. I'm going to go to layer 1 change this to a brighter gray like that okay and then I'll just paint on it hopefully I'm not boring you to death right now and you're off painting your own but uh, it's uh, however you want to do it <laughs> maybe a little darker uh, really dark near the edges so like that and I'm going to go in here and speckle paint all right, I did the face extrusion so I could get that kind of cool looking line that I had on the top half to make it blend together. And of course there's better ways to do UVWs. There's also better ways to extrude parts of mesh and that's uh, you know all different things that you can find out by just uh, you know searching for polygon tutorials and following them. You can learn all kinds of cool stuff through polygon tutorials. There's tons of them out there. And I'm just going to paint around the top half, kind of make it look like it did on the, you know, the other half of the armor. Now, since I'm just doing grays, uh, most of the time people paint all their armor together at the same time so they can kind of match the colors up, and they actually add all the objects of the armor together so they can paint the entire armor all at the same time. It's on how you want to do it, but you can always fix stuff in GIMP or Photoshop if you have Photoshop. You can fix anything. Uh, texture wise you can blend stuff in a little better so it's all up to you how you want to paint yours this is just uh, just an example I'm just teaching you how to do this stuff so it's going to be up to you to explore a little bit on your own you know, and find different tutorials and methods and ways of doing the stuff that you're learning in these videos there's tons of different ways to do stuff this is just how you know the best way I can show someone as a beginner uh, you know to get you started it's the purpose of these videos is you know teaching you the basics and some little bit of advanced techniques. Uh, just go ahead and paint everything. And once you understand how the basics work and you've created a few of these armors, I mean, you'll be just flying through this stuff. You'll make some really cool stuff, you know, really impressive. At least I hope you guys will. That's my hope. How much time I got on this video? Yeah, two more minutes. Continue painting. Mm. Okay, that's the top half. Now, do I want to do something on the bottom half? Kind of similar. How do I want this to be colored? Hopefully, when I save this texture, it doesn't give me lines. That's going to suck if it does. Well, there'll be black lines, anyways. I said there's way better ways to do your UV map. I'm just showing you a basic way. Um, for these tutorials. You can go look up other ways to do UV maps. It always happens whenever you use symmetry. Um, it creates that line in the UV map which is, you know, can be fixed. You can actually change the way a UV map is laid out on an object. It's entirely adjustable, like 100%. Your UV map is entirely adjustable around the object. But again, that's pretty advanced tutorial, so uh, you might want to look up different uh, UV tutorials in the future uh, if I don't get around to covering it because there's some pretty advanced ways and really cool ways of adjusting UV maps. Anyways, I'm going to keep texturing mine and when you guys come back I'll have mine all textured. We'll test it out in game. I'll put it all together and see how it looks with my, uh, with my top half. So, see you all here in a bit.